Percy takes the plunge. One day, Henry puffed wearily into the station. He wanted to rest in the shed, but Percy was talking to Bill and Ben, the twin tank engines. He was telling him about the time he had braved bad weather to help Thomas. It was raining hard, water swirled under my boiler, said Percy dramatically. I couldn't see where I was going, but I struggled on. Oh, Percy, you are brave, said Bill. Well, it wasn't anything really, smiled Percy. Water is nothing to an engine with determination. Tell us more, said Percy, said Ben. What are you engines doing here? Hissed Henry suddenly. This shed is for the fat controller's engines. Go away. Silly things. Henry snorted as Bill and Ben ran off. They're not silly, said Percy. He had been enjoying himself and was cross because Henry had sent them away. They are silly and so are you, muttered Henry. What is nothing to an engine with determination? Huh. Anyway, said Cheeky Percy, I'm not afraid of water. I like it. Percy ran off to the harbour, singing, Once an engine attached to a train was afraid of a few drops of rain. No one ever lets me forget the time I wouldn't come out of the tunnel in case the rain spoilt my paint, huffed Henry. When Percy reached the harbour, he found Thomas on the quay. Thomas was looking at an old board. It read, Danger! Engines must not pass this board. We mustn't go past it, Thomas said. That's orders. Why? asked Percy. Danger means falling down something, replied Thomas wisely. I went past danger once, he said, and fell down a mine. Percy looked beyond the board. I can't see a mine, he said. He didn't know that the foundations of the quay had sunk and the rails now sloped toward downward to the sea. Stupid board, said Percy crossly. For days and days after, he tried to sidle past it, but his engine stopped him every time. His driver stopped him. Then Percy made a plan. One day he made his way to the harbour and he whispered to the trucks, Will you give me a bump when we get to the quay? The trucks were surprised. They had never been asked to bump an engine before. They giggled and chatted about it all the way through the journey. The driver doesn't know my plan, chuckled Henry. On, 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 laughed the trucks. Percy thought they were helping. I'll pretend to stop at the station but the trucks will push me past the board, he said, and then I'll make them stop. I can do what, whenever I can do that, whenever I like. If Percy hadn't been so conceited, he would never have been so silly. Every wise engine knows that you can't trust trucks. They reached the key and Percy's brakes groaned. That was the signal for the trucks. Go on, go on, they yelled, and bumped Percy's driver and fireman off the footplate. Oh, said Percy, sliding past the board. The rails were slippery. His wheels wouldn't grip. Percy was frantic. That's enough, he hissed. But it was too late. Once on the slope, he slithered down into the sea. Percy was sunk. You're a very disobedient engine. Percy knew that voice. He groaned. Please, sir, get me out, sir. I'm truly sorry, sir. No, Percy said the fat controller. We can't do that till high tide. I hope this will teach you to obey orders. Yes, sir, Percy shivered. He was cold. Fish were playing hide-and-seek through his wheels. 
the tide rose higher and higher. It was dark when the men brought floating cranes to rescue Head Percy. Percy was too cold and stiff to move by himself. So the next day he was sent to the works on Henry's good train. Well, 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 chuckled Henry. Do, did, you, did you like the water? No, muttered Percy. I am surprised, smiled Henry. You need more determination, Percy. Water's nothing to an engine with determination, you know. Perhaps you would like it better next time. But Percy was quite determined there wouldn't be a next time. And here we have Duck and Diesel and Daisy. And they all begin with capital D, D, D. Bill and Ben, Bocco and Suey's favourite, number five, James. <laughs> 